coming on Gas Gang. Once again, in partnership with Race Logic, we are back with another epic OG battles. Guys, stay tuned for this one. It's going to be sick. Let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. <laughs> So welcome back once again to the OG Battles and in partnership with Race Logic, today we have two completely different cars battling it out. Both are tuned way beyond your average examples. One's German, one's Japanese. This is gonna be nuts. So first up on today's battles, introducing Martin and his 1000 brake horsepower Nissan R35 GTR tuned by Litchfield. The GTR runs a 3.8 litre twin turbo V6 engine and modifications include a fully forged Litchfield engine running EFR turbos, 1250 injectors and a stage 2 fuel system. It also runs a quay front diff and Litchfield billet diff housing. The GTR is rocked up in full street form today including street tyres and pump fuel and weighs in at around 1750 kg giving it a power to weight ratio of around 571 brake horsepower per tonne. It drives all four wheels via its forged gear dual clutch transmission. And he's going to be stepping up against Dan and his insane 733 brake horsepower Audi TTRS tuned by Awesome GTI. The TTRS is actually still on its stock 2.5 litre 5 cylinder engine and modifications include a TTE 777 turbo, a custom Scorpion downpipe, an APR intake and AirTech intercooler and also 980cc injectors. As you can see the TTRS is rocked up in full drag setup today, fully stripped out, hosier tyres, wheelwood small brakes and E85 race fuel. The TTRS is estimated to weigh around 1360 kg in its current form, giving it a power to weight ratio of 538 brake horsepower per tonne. The TTRS also drives all four wheels via its stock dual clutch transmission. Dan. Welcome to the OG Battles, brother. How are you? I'm good. How do you think you're going to get on today? Reasonably well. The surface is a little bit more rougher than what I'm used to at Santa Pod, but um, <laughs> yeah, I reckon it will. It should hook up quite well, yeah. and, and it doesn't look a good surface and a nice long stretch, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Well, look, you are, I would say, perhaps in this, maybe an underdog power-wise, yeah. but you were fully stripped out, big drag radials. Um, do you still feel confident that you're going to get the win today or in all categories? Or? The one to watch out for would be the 992, I reckon, to be fair. But then I think also the GTR, when it's rolling, it's a machine. So maybe the drags and the 0-60s might be OK, but we'll see. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm on the fence. OK, yeah. OK. We want confidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> if it was built and a bit more brake horsepower, it might be. But I think at the moment, I think, yeah, we just... I'm hearing sick. excuses already. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Listen, bro, good luck anyway. And um, yeah, I look forward to it. Thank you. Nice one, bro. So, Martin, today is the day. Welcome to the OG Battles. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem. Um, right, so you're up against uh, the UK's fastest stock engine TTRS. He's come down properly stripped out, drag <laughs> radials. You know, light, everything is lightweight and weight saving with that car. Uh, you've driven your car down today, full weight, street tyres. How do you think you're going to get on? I don't know, it's a street car versus drag car, isn't it? You know, I've got a power advantage, I think on the roll races, that's probably gonna suit this car more. Um, but on the V-Box, anything with the launch, it should be brutal today. So I, I really don't know, I'm interested to find out. Should be interesting. Are you confident though? Uh, I don't know. You've I got actually, to believe in yourself, Mark. I believe on the roll, but it's a strip tight drag car. So, and this yeah. is literally my street car. So I've got power on him. You know, yeah, the yeah. car makes sort of over 900 at the wheels last time it was on the dyno. Mm -hmm. So I've got, you know, a few hundred horses on him, but he's got weight advantage and, Absolutely. you know, more grip probably. So it's getting off the line, isn't it? It's yeah. getting off the line. So, uh, you know, this, this is the car I drive on the street and yeah. like to blast on, yeah, so yeah. I'm here for a race. Wicked, wicked. That's what I liked here, brother. Good luck. Thank you. And all the best. Thank you. So first up, it's zero to 60s. We've got two four wheel drive cars, a dry day. Let's see how to get off the line. So let's see this 1000 brake horsepower Nissan GTR make some noise. And as usual, the V-Box PBT starts recording as soon as he starts moving. So when he's ready, he's just gonna let it rip. And 
and that is a great sub three second time of 2.96 seconds to 60. But if we take a quick look over at the OG Battles all wheel drive 0 to 60 leaderboard, although he went sub threes, unfortunately that time's just not strong enough to make it onto the top 10. As you can see, these leaderboards are no joke. All right, let's get a quick sound check from the TTRS. is a mind-blowingly fast time of 2.29 seconds from the TTRS. <laughs> so let's just take a quick look at the OG Battle 0-60 leaderboard and as you can see the TTRS drops into an awesome third position just behind the 992 Turbo S. So round one goes to the Audi TTRS. <laughs> So next up is the quarter mile tests. Let's see how they get on. and the GTR manages a solid quarter mile time of 10.07 seconds. So let's just take a quick look at the OG Battles quarter mile leaderboard. And as you can see, the GTR dips into fourth position with a time of 10.07 seconds and an insane trap speed of 152 miles per hour. Let's see if the TTRS can get anywhere near that. And the TTRS just ran an unbelievable time of 9.63 seconds on the quarter. What the hell? <laughs> so let's just take a quick look at the OG Battles leaderboard. And can you believe it? The TTRS brings an end to the 911 dominated leaderboard by dropping into first position. Although its time was identical to the recent 992 Turbo's time of 9.63, the TTRS actually managed to gain another 2 miles per hour over the 911 Turbo's trap speed of 146 miles per hour, crossing the line at a speed of 148 miles per hour. Absolutely crazy. And round two and top spot on the quarter mile leaderboard goes to the TTRS. So next up is the drag races. Let's see how the big GTR holds up against his pocket rocket of a TTRS. Yep. TTR gets an unholy six car length gapping by the TTRS. Ouch. And once again, round three goes to that crazy little TTRS. So next up is the roll races. I personally want to see how this TTRS holds it up with no launch against the GTR. Let's get it.
and after many, many, many failed attempts of these boys trying to line up fairly, they just couldn't make it happen. What's wrong with 50? That's really I simple. Think, I think, I think, well, no, you were doing 37, 40. I couldn't, I'm, I'm sat at 50, but you're way back there. Yeah, because you went before me. So, so basically, what I would do... Okay, but then earlier you broke, and I couldn't really... I had to drop back, and right. then I had to think about you being there. Well, one needs to match the other. I thought we'd agreed that you'd match me. Right, well, stay together, oh, second gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't start so far down, start hot. Okay, so, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah then. We had to let the GTR start from behind, but as you saw, it literally walked straight back by the TTRS, teaching it a cold lesson in Japanese and beating it to the finish line by about five car lengths. That GTR is a beast. Fair play, that's a quick car. And Godzilla manages to pull one back to take round four. So, Ryan, what's in? End of the day. Um, Pretty much how you thought it would go, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, what was your feelings? I mean, obviously, uh, a, a mix of results. Uh, it kind of went 3 1 his way. Yeah. Um, happy with what happened? Yeah, I am. So, firstly, thanks a lot for the invite. I've oh, not, not done any sort of car stuff for a while now. Um, so, it was great to get out. Uh, I was a bit hesitant coming into it because it's sort of stripped out drag car that arrives on a trailer versus a street car so you think oh how's that gonna go um, and I know Dan's car is a beast so it did go how I thought it would I was happy actually because I dipped below a three on the 60 mm -hmm. very happy with that I didn't yeah. think it would um, and it ran a very very low 10 10.12 I think it yeah. was on the quarter to unprepped street tires it's good enough for me and to top it off I think you actually got the fastest terminal hey. speed ever on an OG Battles. I think. <laughs> I think. But um, look, thank you so much for coming anyway. A crazy car. We know we saw it on the roll. This thing was moving. The one you won. And um, yeah, man. Just, yeah. Thanks for taking part, man. Yeah, no, really my pleasure, man. Thank awesome, you. brother. Cheers. Dan, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations, brother. You took the W today, 3-1. How you feeling? Yeah, good. Really good. Yeah. It's what I expected, in all fairness. So, okay, okay. Um, He's, yeah, that car really performed well on the rolls, as you can see. Obviously, I'm in drag spec because we come from an event recently, so I wanted to keep it in the same spec because we want to stay in season for, obviously, other events. Yep. So, yeah, it was really good. Wicked, wicked. And you also took the uh, the label of the fastest or the joint fastest ever uh, quarter mile, but you got a better trap than Porsche did on the previous episode. Yeah. So you actually uh, hold the record now for yeah. the, uh, the fastest quarter mile. So uh, at least you're taking away that with a W2, I guess. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, it'd be yeah. good. Wicked. Let's hope I hold it for a little bit longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wicked. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming. Beast yeah. of a car. And um, yeah, nice one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man. So as you've seen, both two epic cars and both set up for two completely different styles of racing, completely different engines and completely different power deliveries. The TTRS is an absolute monster to the quarter mile, but you can really see the GTR coming to its stride on a roll. Guys, if you have enjoyed today, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for another epic OG Battles. Peace out.